Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Russ Horowitz. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Mona Lisa Muchetsuta. Welcome to part two of the Pediatrics COVID Lecture Series. In this talk, we would like to discuss multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, known as MISC. We hope by the end of the talk, you will be able to define multi-inflammatory system in children, MISC, identify risk factors for MISC, diagnose MISC in pediatric patients, and manage patients with MISC. MISC is a sequela of COVID-19. These kids have serious systemic symptoms requiring hospitalization. They usually present with rash and fever about two to four weeks after an acute COVID infection. In order to identify the children with MISC, ask about a history of COVID infection and or exposure when evaluating children presenting with serious systemic symptoms. Also, it's extremely important to maintain a high index of suspicion in children less than one year old or children with comorbidities like asthma, diabetes, obesity, or immunosuppression. Next, we will delve into the criteria to diagnose MISC. MISC is defined by a number of specific criteria. These include children less than 19 years of age and a recently identified COVID infection or suspected COVID infection. Exactly, Russ. In addition, the diagnosis would also need the child to have fever greater than three days and several multi-system abnormalities as seen by physical exam findings like rash or specific lab findings to complete the MISC diagnosis. Now let's discuss these criteria in a little bit more detail. To help make the diagnosis of MISC a little more streamlined, we will be using the WHO criteria listed here. For ease of explanation, we will divide this discussion into two sections. All criteria in part one must all be met in addition to two or more criteria from part two. Now let us take a stepwise look into the WHO MISC criteria we've discussed. The MISC criteria that need to all be present include age less than 19 years with fever greater than three days, evidence of current or past COVID infection diagnosed by antigen testing, serology, or PCR, or contact with a COVID-19 positive person, elevated markers of inflammation such as sed rate, CRP, or procalcitonin, and no other obvious microbial cause of infection, including bacterial sepsis. The second part of the WHO criteria requires abnormalities in two out of five organ systems. Skin findings such as rash or mucocutaneous inflammatory signs on the mouth, hands, or feet. This is proven to be the most common finding. Hemodynamic instability as seen by hypertension or shock. Cardiac dysfunction as seen by echo findings or elevated troponin or elevated pro-BNPs in the lab work. Evidence of coagulopathy as seen by elevated PT or PTT, as well as D-dimers in the blood work as well. And lastly, GI dysfunction evidenced by diarrhea, vomiting, or abdominal pain. Once diagnosed with MISC, patients should be hospitalized. Remember that MISC and COVID can mimic other common infections in children, so treat empirically for those if the diagnosis is unclear. With signs of sepsis, strongly consider initiating broad-spectrum antibiotics. There are two main medications directed at treating MISC, IV steroids and IVIG. The most common steroid used is solumedrol, dosed at 2 mg per kg, but doses up to 30 mg per kg have been used in severe cases. IVIG is dosed at 2 grams per kilogram. MISC can be associated with cardiac dysfunction, as we mentioned. Vasopressors, including milrinone and norepinephrine, may be necessary. The individual agent should be chosen based on availability and degree of hypertension and cardiac dysfunction of the patient. MISC patients are at risk of becoming hypercoagulable with resulting conditions such as venous thromboemboli. Therefore, anticoagulation including low-dose aspirin, should be administered when available. As we all know, there is no treatment for COVID-19 yet. 
The clinical goal of management is geared toward patient clinical picture. We hope after this talk, you have a high index of suspicion for MISC in any child presenting with severe systemic symptoms, especially if they have a history of COVID exposure or if they have comorbidities. The WHO criteria serve as a nice guide to diagnose MISC, especially if a child presents with a fever greater than three days, has a rash and shock and multiple lab abnormality as this will assist in expedient hospitalization and symptom-specific treatment to prevent morbidity and mortality in a pediatric patient due to COVID-19. Finally, empirically treat for common infections while treating for MISC if you are unable to test for COVID as MISC may mimic other serious infections in children. Thank you very much.